Hi everyone, it's Cherie from Posh Classy Mom. Welcome to another splurge or steal. Um, it's actually been a while since I've done one of these. I'm sorry for that. Uh, but it's going to be a really good one. I hope it's worth the wait. Today we are, uh, while well, the weather's getting a little warmer, spring and summer, and you know, people are starting to wear sandals. And today we're going to do a super popular sandal that has been uh, very popular last season, and it's continuing to be very popular this season. And I'm talking about the wedge sandals uh, from Chloe and Mark Fisher, and I will introduce you to a, a third option that is even a more steal, if you will. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Um, I think last summer, Chloe came out with a wedge sandal, like this one, and it's super popular. Everyone's wearing it, and of course, um, Mark Fisher slow, uh, soon uh, made a look-alike, and it got even more popular because the price point is really, really good. Um, if you are eyeing on the Chloe and you don't want to spend uh, roughly six, seven hundred dollars uh, on a pair of summer sandals. So the Mark Fisher one has been wildly popular and it comes in many different colors. And, you know, I've seen countless, I mean, really countless bloggers uh, wearing it on their blog and on their social media. So today I thought, you know what, why don't I just do a splurge or steal? Because the new season, uh, 2017, they actually have a little tweak uh, to the original design. Um, but if you are looking for the older ones, I think it's still available, but you really have to look for it. And let's just start with the Chloe. So what is different about this season? This season, instead of the older look, which I have a picture of right here, um, you can see that Chloe added its signature uh, scallop hem. So it's all around. And on top of that, instead of the single loop, now it has a double loop uh, on your ankle. So it wraps around your ankle twice instead of the original one time. And let's take a look at where is my Mark Fisher. Oh my goodness, it's right here. Sorry, this is a Mark Fisher. So Mark Fisher, um, let's put a picture of the older model. There it is. And uh, it looks very similar to the Chloe. Uh, however, this season, it came out with a perforated design. You can see right here, it vent a little bit better. And it also has uh, more color options uh, for you to choose from uh, versus the last season. So currently, I believe these are available. But if you like the older, um, the older Mark Fisher, Fisher ones without the preparation, it's actually back ordered um, on Nordstrom and various websites until May. So um, either you go with this one or you wait until May so that re they reintroduce the older model back into the season. So off the bat, <clears throat> let's see, put them side by side. Chloe and the Mark Fisher, I'm sorry, guys, I could not get one that's closest to my size for comparison. This is a, a size 38, which is uh, a seven US, and this is a, a, an eight and a half US size. So you can see there's a little bit difference, uh, but that's just sizing. But uh, let's talk about the, um, the, the shoe itself. So the espadrilles, you know, I, I really like them for the summer. It's easy to wear, it goes with everything. Closey actually has the espadrilles the entire way from the bottom to the tip. You can see the whole thing is woven. And the Mark Fisher ones, um, it actually added a little synthetic uh, lining here. So it doesn't have it all the way. And unfortunately, I can't peel off to see what is inside. Um, but I'm assuming uh, it's... Uh, similar, but they just added this little synthetic lining um, inside. And the tie ankle is the same one, the older model 
also has one loop instead of two. I think currently Chloe is the only one that has two loops. So this retails for six sixty, and I think the Mark Fisher one uh, retails for one sixty. There is a five hundred dollar price difference. No wonder this one is really really popular. It comes in very similar color as this one. Um, but also in uh, taupe, which is, uh, I think it's called olive, olive, and also a lighter shade, uh, or I'm sorry, a darker shade um, of brown. Um, but Chloe also came out with its own color as well, uh, including a sky blue and uh, I think black. So here are the two that were originally really popular last season. And I was able to find online an even less expensive model. This is from Steve Madden. And you can tell it looks really similar to the original Mark Fisher. And it also has uh, a single loop on the ankle. Put it next to the Chloe. And of course, the difference is that uh, this part, it doesn't cover as much as the Mark or the Chloe. Um, and also, it doesn't have the espadrilles all the way inside. Instead, I think it's a fabric material, probably faux suede, um, lining throughout. So there is no real... Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. So there's no real um, woven material on the inside. So I don't know how much of a difference does it make for uh, different people. But this, I found it for a steal for $60 um, compared to the 160 Mark Fisher and of course the 660 Chloe. So it doesn't have a scallop hem. I think that's a signature Chloe. You cannot copy or replicate that. Um, but I would like to put it on my feet to demonstrate how it looks uh, for all three of them so you guys can see what it looks like. All right? Okay, so uh, I'm going to put this one, which is the Steve Madden on my left, and this is the Mark Fisher, the newer style with the perforation on my right feet. And um, like I said, this is actually a bigger size, so you can see I'm not fitting it very well. But this is just for demonstration of style. Okay, second time around. This is Chloe on my left feet. And this is the Steve Madden on my right. And you can see that the Chloe wraps around my ankle twice and Steve Madden only one time. And of course, uh, I feel like the Chloe's platform is higher than the Steve Madden one because I can feel like I'm a little bit taller. But let me walk around so you can see all sides. Okay, so now you guys have seen it on my feet. I just want to point out a few more finer details. So Chloe actually has these stitchings all the way across and it goes all the way around the shoes. And um, you know that, you know, the leather is going to be good and the material will be uh, very fine. And also the buckle um, is really well made. And uh, the other ones, the unlock for sure Let's to start. Um, for some reason, I I think this part it always tends to uh, fall apart, and I think it's just the way that it's made. Um, it's not. I feel like it's not stitched on as tightly. And one thing about the Mark Fisher that I really do not like is that their little tie right here. I don't know if you can see. Um, ah. Oops, sorry, I should make a blooper of how many times I dropped my shoe. But 
Let me just demonstrate this to you. When you put in the loop, the, the belt itself is actually bigger than the loop, so it takes forever to stick it through. And um, this part of the elastic tends to fall apart. I don't know if anyone else has the same issue or problem, but you can see it's like really not going in unless you are tugging on it very tightly. So maybe a design uh, uh, flaw for the Mark Fisher, uh, or maybe it's just this one. The other one is <clears throat> Steve Madden. Similarly, Steve Madden actually has a very smart um, little tweak to these shoes that they uh, made a little incision right here with elastic to fit people's width better. Uh, I think one complaint about the Chloe is that it's very tight fitting. It's not uh, designed for people with wider feet. So Steve Madden actually had a modification and I thought it was a little um, clever of them. So you can expand with the width of your feet. And of course the tight is also synthetic, not uh, genuine leather, but I don't have any, uh, I don't have the same issue as I do have with the Mark Fisher when I'm trying to put in the loop. So this one is okay. Um, and that's it for today's uh, review for Splurge or Steel. And let me just recap, Splurge or Steel is a review and guideline for everyone to look at different price point options of very similar shoe design or bag design. And um, judge for yourself to see whether you want to splurge on the Chloe for 660. I think the newer version looks so much better with the Chloe scallop, and I love it. Or go with the medium price point of Mark Fisher for 160. Uh, the newer ones have a preparation again. Uh, the older ones doesn't. You probably have to wait until May if you really like the older one, which is completely matte and solid. Or option number three, Super Steel <laughs> from Steve Madden for only 60. Um, I think personally, I really love Chloe and um, I really like the, the design uh, for this season as well as the colors. And Steve Madden is a great steal if you happen to love two different colors um, but you don't want to spend another $600. Um, and Mark for sure, I think personally I am going to pass because uh, number one, the width is um, for the tie is a little bit bigger and my ankle's a little petite, so it looks kind of clunky on me. And number two is I really don't like how I have to jam this in, so I'm gonna pass on the Mark Fisher, and I will either splurge on the Chloe or steal on the Steve Madden. And this model is called the Jalen, so you can Google online, or you can go to all the links that I've linked below in the description, as well as my outfit and some of the other very similar options that are not, uh, we're, we're not, we have not talked about today. So that is for Jay. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys can subscribe to the channel for more and give it a thumbs like, thumbs up for like. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.